cut the garden. Help yourself to anything. Wait, didn't you try to eat me? Show me your teeth. Do like a goat, like. <sighs> it was you. I knew it. How are you? So good to. What happened with your career after Easy A and Friends with Benefits, which I loved? Then came. Annie, mm -hmm. and now Peter Rabbit. Mm -hmm. Did you have children? I did have children. <laughs> That's what happened, yeah. It shows. It, yeah, I, yeah, I like, there's only a certain period of time in your life when you have kids that are young, and uh -huh. uh, I want to take advantage of it, and of course you're, you're, you change and evolve, and I wanted to do that, and so I've de I did it. No, 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 As a person who's been taunted with uh, strawberry um, blonde hair all my life, how do you define your hair color? How do I define my hair color? I don't define it. I don't think it's <laughs> good to put anything in a box, so I just uh, leave it to other people. <laughs> Got dark hair in the movie, uh, that was the look that they decided would be kind of like the kind of, you know, uh, the look for Thomas McGregor, which made sense to me. And so I think it's also nice to just be able to change it up and um, not be, not to be not recognizable, but to change up the feel of who you are from, from uh, job to job. And even just looking in the mirror and seeing something different is a, a nice way of keeping your characters individual in your head and distinct. Yeah. How did you cast uh, Donal and uh, Rose to play in the main characters? Because uh, Rose is Australian, Donal mm -hmm. is Irish, mm -hmm. and this is essentially a very British film. Right. Um, I worked with Rose before. She's a friend. I wanted her to always wanted her to play B. She was lucky enough to say yes. Uh, and for Donal, we needed someone who's an incredible actor who could also do comedy. And also, it's a very tough part to play because he's the bad guy, but also the love interest. Um, which is very mm -hmm. hard to do, and yet be very funny. Um, and uh, I convinced him, much against his good wishes, to do the movie. And I think he did a really good job with Rose. Was it a tough uh, task to have only two live actors on set? Uh, yes, it was very difficult for them as well, um, because they had to act with things that weren't there or with facsimiles of animals. Um, so not only did they have to act as a character, they had to act that the other character was also there, so they had to act and react to nothing, mm -hmm. um, which was very difficult for them. Uh, difficult for me to kind of see as well. Um, but then the beauty of it is that after we've done that part, then when we started to animate it, then you can actually see the whole thing come to life and, and react to the actors. So it was fun to see it all come to life. Did you um, have fun blowing up set with dynamite? That was very fun. Destroying Harrods. <laughs> Harrods was fun. <laughs> Blowing up the, the tree was a huge, we actually blew it up, which was gigantic. Um, and taking Harrods out was extremely fun, yes. Were they very accommodating? Ex in too accommodating. I think, <laughs> too we, I, accommodating. I think we, we broke things. They don't know they were broken yet. <laughs> yes. What did you learn about Harrods? What you did? Ha oh, Harrods is amazing. When they, they, they let us have the run of the place overnights and uh, they locked us in. and how many floors Harrods has, how many tunnels, secret tunnels, there's a bank at Harrods, there's a really? jail at Harrods, there's, it's, it's an incredible... There's a jail? Well, if you get caught doing bad things, you go to you go to Harrods jail. Oh, wow. Yeah. How luxurious is that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's not that luxurious. No. Although it's probably better than Harvey Nichols jail. <laughs> there's a gradation. Yes, there's a gradation. You are Irish and Rose is uh, Australian. Yeah. Uh, does it take two foreigners to create such iconic British characters? <laughs> no, no, there were, I'm that? sure there were lots of uh, uh, British actors who could have played either part, although I can't think of anybody else playing Rose's part now because she was so great in it. But no, that, that's not, um, that was never something I really thought of. It's actually got a, because obviously James does the voice of Peter and James is British. Yeah. But we've actually got quite a few Aussies in the movie, you know, Margot's in it and oh, yes. stuff. So there's a few, there's, and uh, Sam Neill's New Zealand, but yeah. Um, but, but you are becoming the face of a British gentleman after about time, after Christopher Robin. Uh -huh. What do you think defines the, the Britishness? I don't, I mean, I, that's not how I think about it at all. Each of those characters is very individual and very different to the others, you know, um, in the same way that any of the American or the Irish or whatever else I've played are also slightly different. I, 
Um, it, it never strikes me as thinking about the country first when I think about somebody. I think that Thomas is so, uh, in this, is so individually himself and is struggling with his own problems, which are very different to the problems of those other two men. Um, that, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not exactly sure uh, what my answer to that would be. It's got the bizarre idea of um, getting a toy shop and yeah. be in competition with Harrods. Yeah. And um, does it change his mind throughout the movie? Uh, yeah, well, I think the competitive element gets lost throughout the movie. I think that I think what he he feels very hard done by at the start of the film. He's worked very hard. He's played by the rules, and by the rules of the game, he should be the winner. He should be the guy who gets this promotion at the start. The rules of the game are just broken. They just disregard the rules of the game, mm -hmm. and he says, "But you told me there were rules, and if I played by the rules, you know." And so he's absolutely livid at the start of the film. I mean, just distraught by what's happened. And so he's got a little bit of hatred for Harrods. But I think that bleeds away over the course of the film, hopefully. You did film some bits in Harrods. We and, did, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. What surprised you? What didn't you know about Harrods? What you found out? Oh, I mean, I don't. I don't know anything more about Harrods now than I did when I started the film, except for that it's probably bigger than I thought and quieter at night time. I found out they were looking after a massive diamond on the night that we were really? filming there. They had a huge, like, they had a huge diamond in the safe. And I did have like these fantasies about robbing it and <laughs> like you know like being able to smuggle it out of the of the, the place. Did you? Um, uh, I am not at liberty to this. Not yet. My agent took fourteen percent. I was absolutely uh, uh, very annoyed about that. But uh, no, I did not rob the diamond in the end. I'm a better man than that. You're a good man. I am. Um, uh, did you or do you have any pets? I don't have any pets. I would love a dog. I love dogs. Um, and you wouldn't have a pet rabbit? I wouldn't have a pet rabbit, no, no. My friend Emma and Richard, they've got a pet rabbit and it's huge, it's like that big, it's absolutely ginormous. Um, but no, I wouldn't want a rabbit. No, they're kind of weird and they, they don't, I don't, there's no like back and forth. No, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. There's no connection between them? No, no. Also, I mean, they annoyed the hell out of me on this movie, so you know, there's no, I'd probably just get flashbacks to Peter Rabbit every time I. Were well, you surprised to find out that Daisy Ridley is going to play opposite you in this movie again? Yeah, no, but there was a few like that. Like, I'd never worked with uh, Rose before. I was so happy to work with her. Um, but no, uh, uh, Daisy and Margot I'd worked with previously, but I hadn't shared scenes with Daisy. And really? Yeah, well, so I've done two movies with her and never been in the same room, like on set. Like, I've never really done a scene with her because obviously they had the voices afterwards. So that was kind of... Frustrating. I would like to do something where I actually get to do some scenes with her someday. It would be nice. Whereas Margot, I've done, uh, I've done a couple with now. So that's kind of a thrill.